All right, good morning all. We uh, today today we're going to start with um, the backend development or the backend technology. The backend technology, as agreed right from onset, is that we're going to use Spring Boot or Spring Framework. Uh, Spring Framework has been uh, a great uh, framework for the development of Java web application, well, not only web, Java applications in general. Uh, actually, today I don't have time to introduce what Spring is all about. I think we have done that in the theory class, but uh, we may do that later. But in a nutshell, this is the Spring Framework uh, official site. And these are applications that could be developed using Spring Boot or Spring Framework in general. You can develop microservices, you can develop, you can develop um, the synchronous non-blocking uh, architecture, it means you, you, you can get more from your computing resources. This is reactive, you can develop cloud, you, have, you can develop web application. This is what we wanted to start uh, working on serverless, the application that starts, executes the project, and kill itself. Then, and um, event-driven applications, patch, and the rest. So if you click on web, it takes you to web application, where you can, you'll be given kind of insight on how you start the development of your web application. And um, uh, I think, um, actually, um, Spring Boot had, uh, has uh, updated their site. Of course, the site has been updated. Can you see something here? This is a kind of a tutorial right from the developers. You can click and see how the Spring Boot is. In less than 10 minutes, you see how to come up with a Spring Boot uh, application development. Uh, that is developing web application. Uh, and. Um, there are a lot of things here actually you can start with. I don't have time to have, um, explore to see what is uh, obtainable here. But the main thing is when you come to Spring Boot here, here, when you come to Spring Framework, there is what we call a quick start your project. Okay, then you come to Spring Initializer. This you get it from Spring.io, or you can come to just just Spring.io. I think um, can can be enough, or just Framework Framework. Uh, okay, can you see something here? Quick start guide with Spring Boot. How you quick start guide? Let me see if it is same with the other page. Because the, uh, the, the site is being, that's not how the site is, uh, I think some few months back, that's not how the site was. So I'm trying to, okay, yeah, so you can now, can you see something here? It says start a new Spring Boot project. So you can start it here, you can start your Spring.io, or you come down here, I think it's going to give you a link. Yes, there is another link here. Yes that you can start your application. You see all the explanations, all these things. You can follow this to learn your Spring uh, uh, project. Please uh, go to the Spring.io and then move to Quick Start, okay? So let's see if it can give us the initializer. This is what we call Spring Initializer. So a project created by this contains Spring Boot. So let's see if it gives us initializer. The initializer sometimes uh, are available with some IDEs, while other IDEs are not having. So that's why we recommend that you come to the web, get, pick your initializer, zip it, then you unzip it in the pro and then call it in your project. So the first thing we do here is uh, we want to start. We want to start up a project, and the project here we want to introduction to framework. I told you that you should start Spring Framework Initializer. So that's why where I am, this is the initializer. You select your, uh, you make your selection. This is projects. You pick what kind of dependency manager you are or building, or depend building manager or dependency manager you want to make use of. 
You want to make use of Maven, Gradle, Kotlin, or Gradle, Groovy. So we've chosen Maven, and here it's asking you what do you, what what language? Is it Java, Kotlin, or Groovy? You know, if you pick Groovy here, you go by Groovy. If you pick uh, Kotlin here, you go by Kotlin. Okay. Then here I want to go with uh, 3.2.10. Uh, then that is the version of the Spring Boot. I think this is the latest version. Uh, don't take uh, the snapshot. You can pick either, but not the snapshots. Then the project metadata here. Uh, mostly the group ID. If you type in something here, it gives you the package name. All right. So in most cases, the package, the group ID here, uh, let me say CCL, instead of saying com, because or com dot cloudsoft, for example, we can go with that. It's okay, because it is uh, mostly the package, package names are reverse of the domain name. Okay, if I have a domain name here, here, Spring Initializer, I'm discussing it here. So I'm discussing a package, package name. So in most cases, package name, they are the reverse of what your domain name. If your domain name is cloudsoft.com, for example, we were using this and later we moved to cloudsoftconsulting.com. But let's just go with this. .com. Then for package name is the reverse of what? Reverse of reverse of this. You take the reverse of reverse of this. So the reverse is going to become the what? Cloud, cloud soft. Thank you. So, um, uh, so that's what I'm trying to, to tell you guys. That um, it is the reverse. So you can pick anything you wanted here. So I can now say come. But what? Cloud soft. You can pick the name of your application. Our application is employee, right? Okay, let's just go. So the name here, the artifact, you see, as I'm writing, it has corrected this one. But here, the name of the package, I mean, name of the application is demo. So I can now say employee. We, we are trying to solve problems of employee, right? Nobody is answering anything. Employee. So I'll just continue, don't worry. So employee, all right? So here, uh, let me write, I can see this application manages employees activities for example then it asks you what kind of packaging do you want so we wanted war or java you can pick either and then the version of the techno version of java so uh, it's okay i think Next thing is dependencies. We have a lot of dependencies that we want to make use of. So you need to add dependencies for the Maven. Because you know, you'll be building things and you need dependencies. And the, some of the list of the dependencies I have that we want to be using here are one, of course we need, we need web. That is Spring Web, okay? Because we want it to be web application, which in another term you could say RESTful, RESTful application. Uh, so this will be inculcated. Next is that we need uh, we need uh, MySQL driver. Then we need we need JPA. Of course, we'll be writing JPA queries. We'll be using JPA queries. Then we need the JDBC itself, JDBC, the Spring Data JDBC. Then we need uh, uh, things like uh, Lombok. We'll talk about it. Uh, it assists in uh, shortening our codes, so we don't write too much of uh, code. Then I think we need the uh, security. Before then, we need validation. We need validation. Then we need Spring security. Of course, Spring security has to be there. I think we can go by this six, 
six dependencies because um, uh, we can add dependencies anytime the need arises. All right? So this is okay. Then you now export it. You can say generate. Can you see it is now generated in what? So, okay, it says demo. That's not demo. Sorry, I, I supposed to have written this employee. Sorry, look at it here. Under this demo, so it will uh, overwrite everything here. So the artifact is uh, uh, employee, and uh, the name is also employee. So it's okay. Then I will generate. I don't like to see demo there. So you see employee.zip, right? So I will open this. I will copy it into my project folders where I'm writing my project. Into the folder I'm writing my project. Copy it into into a given project folder. This is our project folder. So I will paste it here and extract. Extraction means I unzip, right? I will extract it here. So when I extract, it gives me employee. If you check here, you see employee here, right? So I will delete this. I don't need it anymore. This is what we call initializer. So it has initialized the project for us. Are we there? So now what we do is to open inside our IntelliJ. So I open IntelliJ here, which is our IDE. You can use uh, other IDEs like uh, the IDEs like um, uh, Net NetBeans, no, not NetBeans. Uh, Eclipse is doing very pretty work. There's also Spring Boot tool, I think, something like that. Spring Boot uh, something. It's an ID for Spring Boot. You can also use it. Uh, the project is opening, but uh, we already have a given project loaded. So I will close this project. I will close this project. File. Close. Close what? Close project. Thank you. So then this is our IDE. I will then click on open. And I will have to go through our folder structure to get our, to get what? Huh? Uh, Spring Boot Angular in small keys, I think, 2024. Sometimes your project is really, uh -huh, this is it. Open it, then you come to this uh, folder. This is the folder, right? You click on this, please. Don't just open the folder, click on this. Can you see? this folder inside and then you click like this right that's very good it is trying to sync our dependencies you know I mentioned about six different dependencies one is the wave spring wave two spring MySQL three uh, JDBC which is a connector security, Lombok, and validation. So it's trying to sync them here. If you click, you're going to see what it's doing. It is syncing from the net into your project. You understand? So let's, uh, while it is syncing it, please let's go through the folder because we mentioned folder structure here. Even the folder structure, I'll just discuss some little things that you understand. Uh, later, we discuss so many things here. But then please, the first thing you try to understand here is that the name of the application and the location of where the application is written, where the application is, is written at the top here. Next is the, the folder that has to do with the idea. Idea means the IntelliJ folder, all right? Next is the Maven, which is the dependency we have chosen. If you have chosen Groovy, then it will give you Groovy. If you have chosen Kotlin, then it will, give, uh, it will give you Kotlin. That is our dependency. Next is another folder called Source. All right. Then next is uh, Gtignore. Then we have help, help.md. This is a file that stores uh, documentations. If you double click it, you're going to see documentations. It's like the project hasn't finished syncing. OK. Then we have the, the, the Maven. Uh -huh. So you see, this is the documentation. It has opened. We have Melvin, this poem.xml. This is the, 
the dependency XML file. All right, dependency XML file. So if you click, double click on this hub, it gives you getting started. This is the depend. This is the the file. So when you go through this, you learn uh, at a level. You learn uh, how to go about your Spring Boot and all these uh, two-factor authentications and the rest. I think um, then other things, libraries, if you see all that, these are all libraries we're going to be using, which are downloaded by more of them. That's why it took time doing all this, all this work. Okay? Then uh, this is a console. This is a console. So I will stop this video here and I will start the next one, which we call maybe video uh, part nine, then ABC. In the next video, we're going to see how.